six time portland state has played against a ranked opponent defending rose bowl champions undefeated last year in an eye environment down here in texas for a guy who loves football as much as you do this is the hotbed of where football is played so to get the chance to play before a big crowd has got to be exciting for you and the team oh yeah it'll be fun but in the end it's, it's about the guys on the field their execution and uh, that's what's staying on top of things as coaches week four in the sweltering Texas heat, the Vikings roll into Fort Worth with their intentions modeling the intensity of the week's preparation. You ever had that one moment, that one moment that you needed to let everybody know your purpose, to let everybody know what you do every day. The energy, strong, commitment, unwavering. On Saturday morning, you don't get goosebumps every Saturday, and you don't feel like a different person every Saturday, this ain't the sport for you. 20th ranked Texas Christian University, the defending Rose Bowl champs, winner of 21 straight at home. But half-hearted effort or lukewarm acceptance of paper predictions wouldn't be tolerated. Oh my God, we believe we can win. If we believe, we will win. All things set aside, it was play to win or don't take the field for the Vikings. particularly for that first 28 minutes of the game. We'll be ready next week for Idaho State as the Vikings will try and go 2-0 in conference play. Once again, the final score from Fort Worth. Welcome. Now, we're doing our own thing. We know how to do it. So we're going to go back to work starting tomorrow. Bury the game, win or lose, right? Bury the game, win or lose. We go back to work. We're going to bury out Old State. Okay. Now, no Portland State team has won in Pocatello in 12 years. The defense always talks about doing their 111. We want to come out with the W. We're going to take this game and we're going to do what we got to do. We got Corey back this week. We're going to be running the rock. So if I got to block 50 times, you know, I have to block 50 times. If I need to, you know, if I need to catch seven or eight balls on third down to keep drives alive, and that's what I have to do. But one of the things that has made our uh, defense excel is trusting the other guys. We just have a lot of energy. We're ready to roll. We're excited to be out there, excited to be on this trip. It just kind of shows how good we can be when we execute and be efficient.